Here in this movie, we're going to create the feedback slides, the feedback slides for each of our three choices. Now, what we also want to do first, though, is copy the key elements here. The key elements would be the, the scenario, the question placeholders for each of our, the choice placeholders for each of our choices, and then copy those and then paste them into the new slides. The reason we're going to copy and paste them is it just makes it a lot easier to ensure their consistent placement. We could still insert them just like we did when we built this first slide out. So a couple things here, when you shift, when you select multiple items, you shift click them, right? You, so I select this top one, I can see that I have the choice selected, hold down my shift key, and then click the other graphics. Now, actually got all three of those very nicely, but what might happen when you're working with the, uh, the form questions in QuizMaker is you might start to accidentally select the choices, right? Because they're sitting on top of these graphics, so depending on how much text you have, um, you, you may select those and have a tougher time selecting them. We can't do a select all, because QuizMaker, if I try to do a control C, QuizMaker's not gonna let us select those radio buttons, right? That's a logic, that's, that's custom program for the slide. We can't copy those. So the easy way around this, the really the way that I would always uh, approach this, even if I'm copying some, select, some simple graphics, is I'd come down here in the timeline, bring this up, and yeah, there's a timeline, check it out we have an option to lock specific objects. We could also hide them, but if we hide them, then we have to re-enable them. But if I just click in this open checkbox right here for the multiple choice question, right, I can lock those, and there's no way now I can select them. So that's an easy way to ensure that I don't accidentally select something I don't want. There's a lot more we can do here with the timeline, but in this example, uh, that's all we really care about is just locking those questions. So come over here and select the double arrows and click it once to hide the timeline. And now I can come in here and shift click each of these objects uh, really easily. So there we go. Now we wanna copy these to the clipboard. So we do that by pressing control C. And that's pretty much it for this question slide. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close. And that returns me to the uh, question view. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert a blank slide. The blank slide is going to be the first blank slide that we create, and it's gonna be for the feedback for our first choice. So click blank slide. And here in the title, I'm going to type in video conference, right? So that's my first choice, and I'm gonna leave the text blank right here. I don't need anything in there. Now again, we're gonna jump over here to slide view, which is really where everything happens. And you can see my title has been placed right here, and this was the actual text box that we saw uh, when we first created the slide. If I jump back over here to form view, and type something in, that's really what you're looking at right here. So I don't need this one. I don't need a text box because I've copied that question text from that first slide. So I'm just gonna press delete to get rid of that. And with my title, I'm gonna do something that's gonna be a little, uh, make a little more sense in just a moment. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to nudge that up. I just want that off the slide. I really just want that title up there as a reference, and I'll show you where that reference really comes in. But now I, I really, really wanna do is just work with this blank slide that I have right here, and I wanna paste those elements that we copied from the question slide. So Control V to paste, and there we go. Have everything in place just like we want it. So this title right here is actually just a reference. If I save and close, you'll see now that it's titled video conference, and of course we'll have one for Skype and teleconference, but it makes it a lot easier when I'm branching to know which slide I'm going to, because these slides look very similar, right? We'll make some subtle changes to them, but overall I wanna maintain that illusion that these are all one slide and all this activity is happening on the same slide. So if I jump back in here, you can see that the video conference is important to have, but I don't necessarily want to use that on my slide. So if I jump back over here to slide view, here we are. So in the next movie, we're gonna add the feedback text for each of our three choices, and then we'll use that as the basis for duplicating the slide going forward.